Barter Theater, born out of the Depression, is thriving 90 years later, now known for bringing regional themes to its rural Appalachian stage. Jeffrey Brown visited Abingdon, Virginia to show the changing face of the area for our arts and culture series, Canvas. And I said, isn't it tragic, Carla? He fell over on that beat side. A rehearsal of a new play about a group of women in a small factory town. What's so wrong with me, Mama? Experiencing loss and grief, friendship, and family ties. The volume <laughs> and the intensity there is just kind of way off the chart. Playwright Audrey Cephaly. What I'm trying to do is to articulate without condescension the interior worlds of working class people of this region. There are a lot of preconceptions and myths and stereotypes out there. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to dispel what I can with truthful characters from an honest perspective. Cephaly's play, Trouble at the Vista View Mobile Home Estates, was one of six featured this year at Barter Theater's annual Appalachian Festival of Plays and Playwrights which offers regional writers a chance to work with actors and directors to fine-tune their plays. No water again. Mm. So that's fun. Mm. It's so fun. <laughs> and to see how audiences respond during a staged reading, here in one of Barter's two theaters. There's something very singular about being among writers who are all focused and devoted to the same goal, which is to elevate voices in the region from whence they came. I think what Fiona is, is about our audience, to develop these plays for our audience. Plays that reflect their lives, that reflect their values, uh, or challenge those and explore them. Uh, it's so good to see you all back here in person. Barter's associate artistic director, Nick Piper, is also director of the 23-year-old festival an opportunity for local audiences to see new stories and for regional writers to develop new work. At least one of these plays will eventually receive a full production at Barter. And that has the possibility of changing a playwright's career in life. Once it's gotten a production at like a, a, um, a regional theater, a professional regional theater, other theaters throughout the country are looking at, we look at each other's seasons and see how, what other theaters are choosing and what their audiences are, are interested in. And, um, this is the ecosystem of the theater it. in the U.S. That's right? right. Barter is located in Abingdon, a town of about 8,000 in the westernmost tip of Virginia, wedged between West Virginia, Kentucky, Tennessee, and North Carolina. The theater has a special role in this region, according to Henry and Flora Joy, longtime supporters who drove an hour from home in Johnson City, Tennessee, to see the festival. It's not just a, an artistic magnet, but it... It's an economic engine for not only Abingdon in particular, but for the entire Southwest Virginia, East Tennessee region. It is the place to go. It's also filled with history, 90 years of it. Barter is one of the longest running professional theaters in the U.S. Founded during the Great Depression when the price of a ticket was 40 cents or a bartered equivalent in farm products, trading ham for Hamlet. Founder Robert Porterfield managed to salvage equipment and furnishings, including these balcony seats, from a New York theater going out of business in order to build his own gorgeous theater. He also brought in actors from New York and elsewhere, which the theater still does. And legends like Gregory Peck, Ernest Borgnine, and Patricia Neal have performed here as they were starting out. Today, the theater fuels the local economy through tourism, but also by employing actors, stagehands, and craftspeople, all part of the local community. I've come to the greatest theater in, uh, in the world, if you ask me. And it's continued to fuel well, the I'm dreams of people yet. like Ketch Secor, who grew up three hours away in Harrisonburg, Virginia. Well, we never saw it coming, but we sure see it now. Putin Holler, the fable of a boy who saves country music, is Secor's debut as a playwright. It's a departure from his normal full-time gig as frontman and fiddler of the Grammy award-winning band Old Crow Medicine Show, and a chance to do a different kind of storytelling. It's the only way I can scratch the musical theater itch is by doing it, by writing it. Oh, like a neon star, still steal your heart, but they hide you from the truth. I wanted to talk about the authenticity of 
the originators of country music. You know, these hills, like, they're alive with song. This landscape is a soulful place. So it's no surprise that so much of the music that has become uh, country and rock and roll comes from a, a, this place. Barter, an historically white theater in a mostly white town, has also made a commitment to telling stories of black Appalachia and promoting black playwrights. How did I, Henry Brown, escape the savagery of slavery? The transported man was part of this year's Appalachian Festival. Written by Russell Nichols, who joined remotely as actors gathered for their first rehearsal of the play, Donovan and Geo are going to enter from House Right. It tells the story of Henry Box Brown, who shipped himself from slavery in Virginia to freedom in Pennsylvania. Terrence Jackson, a longtime barter actor who lives in the community, now oversees the theater's Black Stories, Black Voices initiative, begun in 2022. He says things were different when he first came here 10 years ago from his native Florida. It was definitely difficult at first to try to find my place, um, you know, especially back when I first started. It was not a lot of people who looked like me were about in the community, and especially at the theater. Jackson and others here are trying to change that through full-length plays, including at least one in the Appalachian Playwrights Festival, monologue nights, and community events focusing on black stories. My dream for us at the theater is that no one will ever be shocked to see a black person in the audience. No one will ever be shocked, including other black people. I want to be able to create a space where people feel comfortable at all times, whether they're white, black, anybody. I think it's important because we, we need representation and we need our stories told. For playwright Audrey Cephaly, the festival gave her a chance to represent the working class people she grew up around in northern Alabama. Every writer that I know of that writes stories in this region is dying to have a space here. So mm -hmm. I feel very, very lucky mm -hmm. to be here. For his part, Ketch Secor adds this. This is a big stop on the tour of, um, of uh, what makes our country unique. How do we feel about bourbon? <laughs> As a verb? <laughs> For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Jeffrey Brown at Barter Theater in Abingdon, Virginia.